Welcome to the Wake County National Model. Today we are going to learn about the ASCA Mindsets and Behaviors. The Mindsets and Behaviors for Student Success describe the knowledge, skills, and attitudes identified in research that students need to achieve academic success, college and career readiness, and social-emotional development. Mindsets are attitudes or beliefs that students have about themselves in relation to academic work. The mindsets are exhibited in behaviors, learning strategy behaviors, self-management skills, and social skills. These are observable behaviors commonly associated with being a successful student. We see mindsets and behaviors in the work that we do through competencies. Competencies are specific, measurable expectations that students attain as a result of a lesson or activity. These competencies or learning objectives often begin with the student will be able to or the student will understand. Let's look at an example from the ASCA National Model Implementation Guide. Here we see a classroom lesson on understanding bullying, stopping mean behaviors. The mindsets and behaviors listed are B, S, S2, create positive and supportive relationships with other students, and B, S, S8, demonstrate advocacy skills and ability to assert self when necessary. The B signifies a behavior, SS stands for social skills. The competency or learning objective is students will be able to identify two or more positive peers. Students will be able to name qualities that constitute a supportive relationship. To summarize, the mindsets and behaviors are beliefs and observable behaviors that research shows lead to student success. Competencies are the specific learning objectives for a lesson or activity. How do these relate to our WCPSS strategic plan? Our WAKE vision states that all WAKE County public school system students will be prepared to reach their full potential and lead productive lives in a complex and changing world. Looking at the ASCA mindsets, it is e easy to see that the beliefs represented are necessary components of reaching their full potential and leading productive lives. As we explore the behaviors in the program planning tool, look for areas where you see the four C's, collaborative, creative, communicator, critical thinker. The ASCA behaviors are visible outward signs that a student is engaged and putting forth effort to learn, much as the four C's are skills needed to be engaged in learning and life. Now let's dive into the planning tool. As you can see, there are four sections that include mindsets, learning strategies, self-management skills, and social skills. Along the right, you see three columns for the three domains, academic, career, and social-emotional. The purpose of the planning tool is to identify which standards will be the focus of the year in classroom lessons, small group, and individual counseling. Completion of the planning tool may reveal gaps within specific grade levels or domains. Each mindset or behavior can be seen in all three domains. For instance, if we are looking at the learning strategies, the first standard is to use critical thinking skills to make informed decisions. How would that look in each of the three domains? In the academic domain, that might look like exploring report card grades and comments and creating a SMART goal to improve grades. In the career domain, students might take an interest inventory and create a portfolio of post-secondary options based on their career choices. In the social-emotional domain, a group of students might be learning mediating skills to help others with conflict resolution. To use the tool, your team, or counselor if you're on your own, will look at your curriculum action plan, your group plans, and your knowledge of each grade level. You will discuss where in your school counseling program each of the standards is represented. This can include classroom, groups, and individual counseling. In order to create a true scope and sequence document, I recommend thinking about where you really focus on each standard rather than listing any time a standard might come up. For example, if you work closely with third graders on academic self-concept, you would consider the mindset, self-confidence, and your ability to succeed. Because you are working specifically on academic self-concept, you would place a three in the column under academics. If your department works with ninth graders on their four-year plan, you would consider the learning strategy, identify long and short-term academic, career, and social-emotional goals. 
This might be a tricky one because is that in the academic domain or the career domain? Well, both. Discuss with your team or reflect on your own about the lessons or counseling sessions that build into this standard. Are they more academic focused? For instance, how are you going to pass your classes? Or career focused? Where do you, what do you want to do when you graduate and how are we going to get you there? Remember, this is a planning tool and there is no right or wrong answer. Competencies are not addressed in the planning tool. Competencies or learning objectives guide a lesson or activity in order to support the standards. The planning tool is intended to capture the implementation of the standards within your program. Once you have created your planning tool, take a look at the scope and sequence of your program and see if you have any gaps. The mindsets and behaviors are intended to be pre-K through 12 and you are not required to cover every standard in your level. However, the planning tool can give us the big picture to see if we are missing any areas. For example, if one of your program goals for your school was related to discipline referrals, I would expect to see that you covered a variety of self-management skills. At the high school level, I would expect to see a large number of standards covered within the career domain. If you see areas that you may have missed, discuss with your team how you can support additional standards within your program. And that's it for Mindsets and Behaviors Planning Tool. Thanks for joining us. If you have any questions, please let us know.